Hey there, welcome back to the shop. Today I want to do something a little bit different. This helmet you're looking at here is the helmet that I used for the EKZ gravel race a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. I had a pretty bad crash, not that bad, but I, I whacked the helmet pretty good in that uh, event. Prior to that, I whacked the back pretty hard on a crash, so I think it's time to retire this helmet. And I was thinking, it might be interesting to see what it looks like inside, kind of a um, cutaway view. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to actually cut this thing in half so we can take a look at what's inside. First, let me get it cleaned up. There we go. That's better. Obviously, I didn't spend that much time cleaning it up because I'm going to destroy it and throw it away anyway. But I just got some of that mud off. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and remove this uh, padding just so there's no chance that it's going to get gummed up when I'm trying to cut it. And by the way, this was actually a really good helmet. Um, I bought, like I said, I bought this in Decathlon, which is, if you don't know, a sporting goods store in Europe, and I know they're also in India. Uh, and actually, they're on in the U.S. as well, uh, but I don't know if they have a physical store, but there is decathlon.us. Uh, it's, a, it's a really big sporting goods chain, and I, I really like them in general, and I really liked this helmet. It always fit me really nice. It's very, very light, I think, anyway, compared to other helmets. Anyway, so, but we're going to cut it up today, uh, and I'm going to see if I can at least cut this nylon, if not remove it completely, just to get that out of the way. Have you ever noticed that the way I do things feels a little bit awkward? That's just the way I am. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, what I wanted to say is that sometimes because the camera is, you know, right where I should be standing, and so I'm kind of like always having to stand at a weird angle and try not to bump the camera. Okay, there we go. And if I can, I might as well get the plastic out too, right? Okay. Oh, that, that actually unsnaps. It looks like I could snap it back in. That's interesting to know. And this helmet wasn't too expensive. It was kind of like, I guess, their lower end mountain bike helmet. I mean, not the cheapest one, but not the most expensive either. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Probably like 30 bucks or something, or 25 Okay, that was easy. And it's nice because you can put that back in. Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so that's the basic helmet now. Of course, there's still two parts to it. There's the kind of foam part, and then there's the shell. But I'm just going to try to cut right through both of them. I don't know how this is going to go, but... And, by the way, this is a large size, if you're curious. All right, so let me go ahead and figure out a way to mount this, and then I'll start cutting it. At this point, I should probably tell you not to do this at home, because cutting through this foam, I imagine, can get some uh, chemicals or foam particles up in the air which you don't want to breathe. But uh, I'm going to take that risk and the window is open so hopefully it won't be too bad. Okay, that's cutting super easy, like there's no resistance at all almost. Alright, for the last part I'm going to turn it this way. Okay, the grinder isn't quite, the, the cutting wheel, the grinder isn't quite long enough to reach all the way through. There's a tiny bit that it couldn't reach, so I should be able to, I don't know, grab that somehow. Or maybe I can just break it. Yep. The last part was just that tiny piece here, I think. So really small. There you go. Let's take a closer look over on the table. Okay, here we are back on my work table. Here are the two halves. It actually cut really easy and pretty cleanly. Almost surprised me how easy it was to cut this in half. And I got it pretty good down the center. Just for some rough numbers, let's uh, let's check it out. So where I kind of deburred it, it's 
roughly 27, you could say about 27 millimeters at the top-ish area. Uh, towards the front, uh, if I just look at just maybe this part here, you know, it varies quite a bit. I'm looking at 23 there. Uh, if you kind of look there, it's 24.7. But then here you also get, you know, a very thick section. I don't, it depends on how you measure it. This is the in, interior here. I mean, could be as much as 49. 50s. It's quite thick here and pretty thick right at the rear of your head as well. You could say around 33. Then towards the bottom of the rear tapers down once again to 25. Well, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to do. Just make a quick video just for fun and uh, I'm glad I did this. That was kind of fun and I did learn uh, that it's quite easy to cut these actually. That was pretty interesting cutting it. The smell actually isn't that bad. I can smell it a little bit, but it, I think it's pretty much cleared up now. So uh, that's about it for this video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box below. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.